Just recently, I graduated from college, and while going through school and working a wonderful internship, I couldn't silence a thought. You see, constantly I was itching and anxious and restless about something, but, but what? I then determined that I had an innate desire to experience. Experience what exactly? Who cares? You see, there's something incredible about new experiences. Not only are they enjoyable, but the associated discomfort is a kickstarter for self-growth, and the breaking of routine is a revitalizer for creativity, which is exactly what I needed for my newfound interest in filmmaking and videography. So I'm determined. I sell pretty much everything I have, and I buy the cheapest plane tickets I can find to Indonesia, a, a place I hope will scratch that itch. The tickets I purchase are scheduled for February 18, with just one stop in Shanghai. I am ecstatic. Two weeks prior, I find out that there's a new virus circulating in China called COVID-19, and it's something similar to the SARS virus of 2002, so I frantically start searching for new plane tickets that aren't through China, Hong Kong, Thailand, or the Philippines. I'm a little worried. I find tickets through Germany, a country that's relatively unscathed, and my plans can continue. I'm relieved. Indonesia is an amazing place, seemingly immune to the panic and concern of the rest of the world. And I'm sure that by the time I get home, all of this will be blown over. You see, life goes on here, the, the news headlines fade away, and people are happy. I am happy. So I experienced Indonesia for a total of three weeks, filming all the b-roll I possibly can and documenting every single step and activity. I live life here one moment at a time. I'm not stressed, I'm not anxious, I'm alive. But now it's time to come back. It's March 12 and it's 24 hours before our president bans all travel from Europe. Luckily, my flight leaves a few hours before that ban takes place and I'm on my way home. I'm exhausted. Being home is good at first, but things in the world start to change. The death tolls rise and stores start to shut down and borders close and plans change. See, I was supposed to go snowboarding in Park City and figure out how to monetize and learn new filmmaking techniques in Los Angeles and visit Mexico with my girlfriend and her family and then on top of that I wanted to visit Banff and see the mountains and make it to Patagonia by Christmas to see the to see the solar eclipse. Instead I'm stuck, isolated and an unmotivated, apathetic, bored, I'm uninspired. But I'm content. And content not not because I love all of those emotions, but because I'm rich in something that I was always poor in. Time.